डब्लू के गैस नेक्स्ट वी है फुल फुल वेव वोल्टेज डब्लू फर्स्ट आई विल ड्रॉ द सर्किट डायग्राम ऑफ फुल वेव वोल्टेज डब्लू हेयर वी हैव द ट्रांसफार्मर एंड हेयर वी हैव द आउटपुट सिग्नल्स एंड वी हैव टू डायोड्स वन इज दिस वन सो दिस इज कनेक्टेड टू द आउटपुट सिग्नल एंड हेयर वी हैव दिस इज कैपेसिटर वन एंड दिस इज कैपेसिटर टू हेयर वी हैव डायोड डी टू This is diode D1, and this is diode D2. That is, this is di capacitor C1, and this is capacitor C2. And here we will put the output voltage. Ah, uh, the we will put the load resistance here. So here in these two, in we will calculate the output voltage. Now, in case of full wave doubler, the output voltage. is taken across these two capacitor while in case of half wave rectif uh, half wave voltage double the output voltage was taken across a single capacitor this is the only difference now c1 and c2 must be discharged initially before the operation start and we also assume that these diode d1 and d2 are ideal diodes now for the first positive half cycle like for the this first positive half cycle This end will become positive, which is this is the secondary coil. This is S one, and this is S two, and S two become negative. So diode D one is now forward biased, and diode D two is reverse biased. So this act like uh, short circuit, and this act like a open circuit. now i will replot my this diagram again by using this short and open circuit concept so here we have transformer and here we have diode d1 and this is capacitor c1 and this is capacitor c2 This is diode D one, which is act like a short circuit. So these two terminals, they are connected, and this is diode D two, which is reverse biased. So it acts act like a open circuit. So there is no connection between these two points, and this is capacitor C one, and this is capacitor C two. And here we have the load resistance, which which is not yet applied to this uh, circuit. Now. once diode d1 is forward biased then capacitor c1 will charge to its maximum value and it charge to d1 while capacitor c2 will not charge because this in is uh, this circuit is open so it cannot charge this capacitor c2 now this c1 during the first positive half of this output sig input signal diode d1 become forward biased so this capacitor c1 will charge to its maximum value through diode d1 now if i suppose that the voltage of uh uh the voltage over this capacitor c1 i represent it by vc1 then this is positive terminal this is negative so this will become positive this will become negative now the current flowing in this way so we have to calculate this vc1 so applying kirchhoff law to this mesh or to this uh, loop shown in this figure here we start from uh, we start from s1 so i start from this point 
I start from this point so here the voltage is Vm between this positive with minus because we have this output voltage Vm here now apply Kirchhoff law started from this point and the way up to this point there is nothing so here we have we move from positive to negative and the voltage is Vc1 so that will be taken to be negative Vc1 now we cannot move on this way because this path is open so the path followed will be this one so there is nothing so here we move from negative to positive like from lower to higher so that will be positive so this will be Vm which is equal to 0 so our loop will complete here up to this point now from this we get Vc1 which is equal to Vm so this capacitor C1 charge to D1 at, to its maximum value and the voltage across this capacitor Vc1 is now Vm now during the next uh, during the first negative half cycle what will be the situation again I will plot my trigger here so this is the transformer so here we have diode D1 this is C1 and this is C2 and here we have diode D2 Now during the next, uh, the first negative half cycle, like initially we have this positive half cycle, now we have this negative half cycle. This negative half cycle, the polarity of this secondary coil changes now, this will become negative, this will become positive. So it means that this diode D1 is now reverse bias and diode D2 is now forward bias. This act like a short circuit and this act like a open circuit. Now, the, the short and open circuit diagram will be look like this. It will be Now this is diode D1 which is open, so there is no connection between these two points and this is diode D2 which is powered by, so it looks like a short circuit, so there is a connection. Now if you look at here, then this capacitor C1 which is charged to its maximum value and the potential across this capacitor C1 is Vc1 which is Vm in the first positive half cycle now this capacitor C1 does not discharge because this path is open and we, we are not connecting with the load resistance so this capacitor C1 will remain as it is like there is nothing happened during this negative half cycle but this capacitor C2 now charged to its maximum value through capacitor diode D2 because the current flowing in this way this is now positive this is now negative so it means that the current is now flowing in this way current start from positive to negative in this way here it reach it goes down comes over here then it goes through this diode this capacitor C2 will charge and then it goes back in this way so this is the path of the current from current flows from positive to negative terminal so this is positive so it goes to this negative here we have this path is open because current cannot flow in this way so it, the current will move in this way so it will pass over this diode D2 because this is forward bias now so passes also through this capacitor, capacitor C2 will charge and this current will flow again to this point. Now apply Kirchhoff law to this diagram or to this to the loop shown by this arrow here. Arrow. We have 
like if I start it from here to here, we are, here we have the maximum voltage Vn, which is this one. So we are moving from positive to negative, from higher to lower, so we have minus Vn. Here on this way we have nothing, so here we have Vc2. And this is negative and this is positive. So we are moving from lower to higher, so this will be in plus V. C1, which is equal to 0 again because we reached to this point again or we can say that Vc1 is equal to Vn so this capacitor C2 also charged to its maximum value and the pot potential or the voltage through this capacitor C2 is Vc2 which is equal to Vn now connect the load resistance. Now during next positive half cycle connect a load during next positive half cycle like during this positive half cycle connect a load resistance and measure the voltage drop across that load resistance which we call it V0 this voltage drop will be equal to V output or V out output V0 is equal to the voltage across capacitor C1 plus voltage across capacitor C2 because these two capacitors get discharged and they discharge through this load resistance so this is equal to Vn plus Vn so V0 is equal to 2Vn so it means that again the output voltage it get double then the peak voltage input peak voltage of the secondary coil of the transformer so by this way we multiply the voltage so the voltage get double so this is called a full wave voltage multiplier 